Hi all, your reading for this week is a non-fiction text all about David Williams. Okay, so I'm going to read this to you now. You might notice as we go through that some of the words are in bold. Um, I will go through the meaning of those words at the end. Okay, David Williams is a comedian, actor and children's author. He is also a judge on a television talent show and writes scripts for television. David raises money for the charity Sport Relief, which helps people in the world's poorest countries. Childhood. David was born on the 20th of August 1971 in Merton, London. He was the youngest child of Peter Williams, an engineer, and Kathleen Williams, a lab technician. From a young age, he enjoyed dressing up. His older sister, Julie, loved dressing him up in girls' clothes. David went to a boys' school in Surrey, where his love of dressing up continued and his love of acting was formed. He was also on the school swimming team. Although he never won a race, he loved the freedom of being in the water. Aged 11, he performed in his first school play wearing a dress and made the audience howl with laughter. This was the moment he realised what he wanted to do with his life. Career highlights. After studying drama at the University of Bristol, David changed his surname from Williams to Walliams because there was already an actor with that name. David finally got his big break, collaborating with his friend on a comedy sketch show. The show was extremely popular and David's name instantly became a household name. David had a successful television career, but he decided to try out a new vocation. He wanted to write a book with the important message that it's okay to be different. In 2008, he published The Boy in the Dress about a boy who loves football and wearing dresses. The book sold over half a million copies. David now has, written, has now written 12 chapter books for children and six picture books for younger readers. His most celebrated books include Mr. Stink, Billionaire Boy, Gangster Granny and Rat Burger. He frequently works with the illustrator Quentin Blake, best known for illustrating Roald Dahl books or Tony Ross, best known for illustrating the Horrid Henry books. Many of David's books have been, now been adapted for television and he occasionally appears in these films as an actor. Okay, so there's a picture of the uh, English Channel there, and you will see why. Charitable work. David has raised impressive sums for charity using his passion for swimming. In July 2006, David swam the English Channel, raising over £1 million to support relief. It took him 10 hours and 34 minutes to swim 22 miles. This distance is equal to 700 lengths of an Olympic-sized an Olympic swimming pool. In September 2011, David swam the length of the River Thames, 140 miles, raising more than £2 million for sport relief. David was awarded an OBE by the Queen in 2017 for his work in charity in the arts. Now, as I said earlier, there are a few words in here that are in bold, so English Channel, OBE, Adapted, Collaborating, Vocation. Now, at the bottom of this is a glossary, and that will tell you what those words mean. So adapted means to make a different version of something, for example, making a book into a film. Collaborating means working together on an activity or project. English Channel is the body of water separating Southern England and Northern France. Vocation, a form of employment or job. OBE, an award presented by the Queen, standing for Officer of the Order of the British Empire. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that and that you enjoy your week's English lessons, not English lessons, reading lessons, all about David Williams. I will see you soon.